All right, you can turn in your King James Bible to the book of 3 John. Don't really go to that one very much, but uh, I'm going to do a, just a quick little study here on does your pastor profit you? Something to think about here. 3 John, only one chapter, so we'll say chapter 1, beginning in verse 2. And this is my prayer for my viewers. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Um, spiritually speaking, if you've been led to the Lord by this ministry, then you are somewhat of a, a you know, I've sort of begotten you through the gospel. Paul talks about that. You're sort of a child to me or whatever in a spiritual sense. Understand you're not supposed to call me t the title of father or something. That's a Catholic deal. Um, but what I'm saying there is people that have learned from this ministry, people that have been saved and are growing through this ministry, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth. I want you to prosper. I want you to profit in life. And how do you do that? That thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. A real ministry, and I've seen this over the years, a real ministry will help you out in two ways. They will teach you the spiritual things of the Word of God, but they'll also profit you in terms of your health. They will tell you things that are good for your health in terms of nutrition, tell you things about exercise. They'll challenge you like that. I've known of a few preachers that have done that. Um, unfortunately, I have to say it's only a few preachers that have ever done that because most preachers, it's all just the spiritual stuff that they learn at their Bible college. They come out with the little stamp, you know, approved icon. You've been uh, officially ordained as a preacher now. You can go out and get a, some church building someplace and get it yoked up to the government through 501c3. And, and you go out and you just tell the people how to be good, whatever. And then you can joke about going to a smorgasbord and eating junk food and whatever other stuff. And the people are coming in, oh, please pray for me, I have diabetes. And please pray for me, I have cancer. And please pray for me, brother so-and-so is in the hospital again. And he... They're not really profiting you. So I believe that a true ministry, a true man of God, is actually going to profit in health and in the spiritual realm. The soul will prosper. The soul will profit. That's the mark of a real ministry. And there aren't that many out there. Like I said, I've seen an awful lot of guys that are preachers and they will give some of the worst health advice and whatever else. And I just think, how could you do that and even say that, even try to pretend that you care? And that's the whole point. They don't care. They could care less about people. 1 Timothy chapter 4. You know, it's a great joy to me when I see somebody in the comments and they ask a question and they say, um, I'm really struggling with uh, name some kind of a thing. I have really a sore throat and I'm, uh, headaches and I'm really struggling with this thing. And I see my viewers writing in the comments, natural health advice and, hey, check this out, check into that. You might want to try to put some of this into your diet and whatever else. And a lot of times it's stuff I haven't even preached on. And it tells me my children, my viewers, are actually going out and doing their own research like I've implored them to do and say, hey, do your own research. Study this stuff on your own. Try it out on your own family, on your own self. And you'll see how much it profits you. And my viewers do it. And then they go and they help other people. And I think, wow, praise the Lord. That's a great joy to me. Let's me know that my labor is not in vain. First Timothy chapter 4 Verse 13 through 16, till I come, i uh, love to be able to w be with all my uh, viewers out there and everything, the fellowship, and uh, it, it'd be great, um, but we really aren't going to be able to do that probably until the Lord catches us up and then we'll be together. More like he, till he comes, you know, Paul's writing here that he's till I come, you know, to, to Timothy, but the point I'm trying to make is till we can all come together. You know, think of it that way for our context here in the conversation that we're having here on the scriptures. Till I come, give attendance to reading, study. Make sure you study things. 
to exhortation, to doctrine, exhort one another, show each other the right doctrines. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. He's speaking to Timothy there. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. You know, I had uh, some men of God lay their hands on me in the past and have prayed over me and said, Lord, please use Brian for ministry. Um, I was ordained. I don't have an official, you know, seminary little document or whatever else. No, I don't have that. But uh, I had men, older men of God, place their hands on me and pray for me to be used in ministry. So the presbytery there, the, the elders and things of different churches, they prayed for me. And here I am. Uh, the Lord's used me. And I thank the Lord for that. But uh, I'm supposed to show by my life that there's profiting there, that my health has gotten better, my speech gets better, my thinking gets better, my, oh, I, I messed up this thing I was teaching wrong there. I have to come out and I have to confess, hey, I was wrong on that. Um, we started out, when my wife met me, we were extremely poor. I, I was extremely poor, and uh, I was not doing all that great health-wise and things, and um, the Lord has profited us over the years and uh people think <laughs> you know people think we are wealthy or something like that that always makes me laugh i just think you know do you realize what our total net worth is we are not wealthy but uh in terms of heavenly things then yeah i would agree with them they are correct we are very wealthy in terms of eternal things in, in eternity and uh i'm so honored that uh the lord has used me in that way and that I've seen so many of my following here on, on YouTube, and they, they, they know so much. That's just so neat to me. And, and they can advise on things and whatever else. They, give, they turn around and they give me advice on some things. Hey, brother, you know, do this or do that. I, I was reading a book on this and that. Praise the Lord. That's what it's all about. That's what true Christianity is supposed to be about. It's not a social club that you come to one day a week and then you go home and you, you know, live like the world and look like the world. That's, that's not Christianity. It's not true Bible-believing Christianity. Verse 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. That's another thing that you have to do. Okay, you're profiting. The Lord's doing some good things. Uh, stick to it. Don't, uh, you know, your, your desires in life should be more towards natural health eating, eating less and less junk food. Uh, I'll be talking about that in some future studies coming up here. But uh, junk food is just, the more I study it, the more I learn about it. You know, you get away from sugar for a while, you know, eating sweets and, and things. You eat, I eat anything really sugary or whatever now, which is not very often. But if I do, I end up feeling horrible. If I have a really good meal and, and, and things and I eat some kind of sweet thing after, after I'm done, I feel tired and I feel, uh, you know, like my body's been poisoned. I want to feel good. I want to heal quickly if I have anything go wrong with me. I want the same for my viewers. I want the same for the people that follow this ministry. Um, that's what it's all about. But I have to take heed unto myself and unto the doctrine and I have to continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. And that's where we're going to end this little study here. Um, I want you to save yourself. You say, oh, it works salvation. Nothing there's a work salvation. Is, I knew it. <laughs> no, that's not what this passage is talking about. This passage is talking about the thing of saving yourself from getting messed up. Uh, God saves you. That's the first salvation there. The second salvation comes when you start to save yourself. All right? The Lord saved me. I was a drunkard. The Lord saved me. I was a prostitute. The Lord saved me. I was a porn addict. The Lord saved me. I was a. I did uh, cigarettes and I was on drugs and whatever else. Okay. I came to him as a sinner. I came broken. God, please save me. Prayed. Called upon the name of the Lord to be saved. He saved me. Now, Lord, help me to save myself from my, you know, the wages of sin being death. I don't want to eat this junk food anymore. I don't want to drink this alcohol. I don't want to 
be addicted to cigarettes. I don't want to be on drugs. I don't want to be, you name it, mess up my mind with pornography and whatever else. I want to change. I want to have that changed life because I know it's positive. I want to be that new creature in Christ Jesus. That's how you save yourself. And when you find a good ministry, that good ministry will help you to profit in those areas, in your health and in your soul, spirit or physical and spiritual. And if you find some kind of ministry and they don't really say much about health or whatever in terms of how to be in, in good shape and, and not just nutrition stuff, by the way, too, but also your finances, staying away from going into all kinds of debt and, and everything else, there should be a lot of things that should help your life get better. You know, you watch a ministry, that ministry should, as you watch more and more videos, you should get more things figured out and have your life improve. If you're watching a uh, ministry and your life is getting worse, I'd run away from that ministry. I wouldn't mess with that ministry. Okay, you're not dealing with a, a true man of God at that point in time. So, um, just a little quick challenge there. Um, and... Uh, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to go on to the next study. And um, so that should be it. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everybody out there for entering your thoughts and helping out other people in the comments. Um, please keep it up. Continue in those things.